Hello everyone and welcome to EduSearch Clinics. I am Dr. Gunjan Desai and today we are going to do a very important skill station that is important for your practice as well as for clearing your practical skill station whether it's MRCS, MLE or any other practical OSCE based exam. Now whenever you start suturing the first basic suture that you need to learn is the simple interrupted suture. So the important point is how to pass the needle through the skin and how to take it out, how to tie the knot and then proceed to the next. Okay. Now whenever you are suturing skin especially it is commonly taught to hold the skin like this with the tooth holder. However, sometimes it can cause injury to the skin. So what many surgeons prefer is that you can just support your skin or the surface that you want to suture with the side of the instrument. Okay, So to start using the instrument in various ways. So what you can do is you can just support or don't do anything and just suture. Okay, So there are different ways. It is commonly taught to hold it like this but it's very good if you can do it without holding. Now whenever you are going to pass the needle through the skin, remember that the impact has to be at nearly 90 degree, okay? And your wrist has to be pronated, okay? So that when you rotate with the curve of the needle, when you supinate your wrist, your throw of the needle can be complete, right? So this is a 3 8 of a circle needle. And so when you rotate your wrist, you should be able to come out on the opposite side. Now when we take simple interrupted stitch, the simple concepts are roughly 5 mm to 1 cm away okay, on both edges. And the depth is also nearly the same, but the depth depends on the thickness of the skin, thickness of the layers okay, and what you want to achieve with your suture so usually what you do is take a bite at 90 degree right so this is 90 degree go in come out okay and if you are going to go through and through if you are learning you want to come out in between then you can use the tube forcep to hold it roll it a bit hold the needle with the needle holder in a way that you are ready to take the next bite right so if you want to adjust it, you can use your tooth forcep and adjust it, right? Okay. Once you have adjusted it, take the suture out from one side, right? So this is how you can take the suture out from one side. And then at the same level on the opposite side and come out at the same distance, right? So this is how. Now once this is done, what you have to do, you can either put the needle down okay, and hold this suture. You can use your finger to hold this suture. Now this is where your knotting begins. So what you have to do, form a C. This principle applies in laparoscopy also. Form a C. Inside the C, rotate 1, rotate 2. Right? So this is important when you want to square the knot, okay? What is squaring? Squaring means that the knot is coming appropriately and there is no heaping of the knot, okay? So what you have to do is form a C, right? Like this, take one, two, okay? Then hold the edge of the suture like this and take this out. And then you have to go in the direction of the knot. So you can see here, See, if you can see here, the knot is not heaping, right? Once you have tightened, don't tighten it very much, otherwise you will strangulate the skin. Just keep it loose. Not very tight, not very loose. Now, if you see, this is the C, right? So, you go here, take one curve and hold this and tighten it again. You can see that it is squaring right you can see i am not tightening the skin right so that is how you do it again go on the c hold this end take it down and square it right so this is how you do it keep it on one side okay and don't strangulate the skin these sutures are just to approximate 
right? Keep this one centimeter long. Okay. Now once this is done again, this is how you can hold the needle, right? So we are ready. Again, you can see the distance here at the same distance, at the same distance from the edge of the skin. If you want to support, use the tooth forcep just to support the bite, right? Go at 90 degree, come out if you are confident, you can come out on the other side at the same distance right then use your tooth forcep to pull the needle out as much as you want and then you take it out <coughs> drop the needle safely see the C this is the C so one two and square the knot this is squaring the knot then take it on one side tighten it a bit and keep it now this is the C so this is the loop and tighten it and then this is the loop and tighten it. so sometimes if you need to do all the steps alone you have the scissor okay what you can do is with this grip okay if you are holding the needle holder in this grip just remove your thumb okay lock it just remove your thumb and your needle holder now is on the back of your hand and you can use the scissor okay and cut the thread right so this is another way just to save time then rotate it and you are ready with your next suture okay again wherever the needle is try not to hold the needle and this will help you when you are doing laparoscopic suturing because there of course you can't hold the needle right you have to use your instruments to hold the needle again I use this 75 degree thing a lot of surgeons use it so now we have already seen 90 degree enter rotate come on the other side exit then pull the needle out in a way that you are ready for the next throw now this may not seem important in simple interrupted but when you are doing continuous suturing you will see the importance of holding the needle in a way that it's ready for the next suture again see the C two rotations first this is silk so we are taking four knots right square the knot then take it on one side and tighten it the reverse C okay and tighten it and then the C again and square the knot and tighten it, right so this is how you can do it so we will take one more suture to complete this series go at 90 degree come out on the opposite side at the same distance right again try to hold the needle like like this then you are ready get the needle out get the thread in place see two rotations hold it properly take your time okay take it on one side then the reverse C and then one more so this is for silk as well as nylon and cut it right so this is how you can take simple interrupted stitches the most important thing about this is practice